house. Um, right here I have three examples of how we built these things and we do it by using the basic basic steps. What we want to do is take a 1x6, we want a 15 degree angle and using 10 inches for the front of it as we make the cut we'll get the two sides we'll have a 10 inch center or front board we're going to put the hole in there eventually and it's got to be an inch and a half that's what we want bluebirds for and then we'll have the back and then of course the roof and the bottom will come off another piece but depending on how you want your look will determine your individual cuts for instance these cuts this one is based off of the front piece staying full so I had to put the two sides on the back it makes it a, a little bit kind of a wider thing but um it looks good the roof has to be a specialty cut too because it makes it wide if you take your sides and make them even with the back then you need a specialty cut on your front door on your front piece which is okay you can do that depending on your look now if you're a real craftsman and you want a real clean look the birds really don't care but i mitered the sides so i made this a clean look but then you can't get your front door so you have to keep your roof flexible so you can come off and clean it so we put a piece on there so you have to decide what kind of look you want for your house but the core base is right here let's go cut them up and get it done there you have it we've got our four pieces cut we've got our two sides cut we've got our front cut got our back cut. Now, I do want to put a 15 degree angle on this front so that uh, so that it, it'll fit. And I do want to put a 15 degree angle. This is the front piece so that when it sits on there, we don't have a gap. I want it to fit perfect. So we're going to put a 15 degree angle cut right on here. As you will notice, on the front piece, I've got the 15 degree angle cut on this, and I also put one at the bottom and I'll show you why later, so that when we have the door flip up, we have a place to grab. But, we've got the pieces cut, let's go assemble. For the assembly stage, we decided to make a, a, a birdhouse similar to this one, the Bluebird House. So what we're going to do is use the front piece as a whole and make it a, a, an opening door. So. We really just want to put them together. We've got the two front pieces. We're going to put the back in the back. Now we make the back a little extended so we have a place to hang it. Uh, if you're putting it on fence posts or, or wherever. Now, to make the door accessible, and this is nice for cleaning out, observation, look and check and see how the birds are doing if you want. Uh, so to make this, it's pretty simple. We're just going to use three inch screws. Now the trick is, you have to get them in straight, okay, so the door will open. God, if you put them in like this, it will never work. So we want to put them in straight, so we're going to pre-drill the holes and then we'll put them in. So we are actually gonna measure an inch down and a half inch over so we get a good bite on the door.
tablet. And this is why we put the 15 degrees cut at the bottom here. So that when we go to grab it, it's an easy grab. Okay, let's put the roof on. Your roof is really uh, your choice how you want it. Uh, you could just take a piece. It doesn't give you much of an overhang. I actually took this roof and I added a 1x3 on there so that we would have a nice hangover. And I cut the roof again at that 15 degree angle so it fit nice and snug in there. Okay, now your bottom. You could, without a doubt, you could take another piece, cut it, and put it in. Or, another idea that I've been working with is the screen. I've been taking pieces of screen and putting it in there. What the screen gives you, the screen will give you a lot of airflow and um, any kind of bugs and crap will fall out at the bottom. And so that'll work out well. So it's really your choice on how you want to do it. Now, we need to go drill an inch and a half hole. The hole should come down two inches. That should be the center of the hole. And you want to roughly put it in the center. Got it. We're ready to go. Um, we're ready to uh, find a place to hang this. Now, you always want that for a bluebird, you want to hang them by a field. Uh, they love they love the wide open field. It's the only place you're going to get them. Because if you put this in the woods, you're going to get something like sparrows or wrens and things like that. So you want to put this out there. Um, you might want to put a peg in here because this is, although it's tough now, it may loosen up in, in time. So I will drill a hole and just put a peg in there. Um, I will also either put two pegs for them to hang on, or I will slice some holes in and do what I call a bird ladder. Let's do that. I call my bird ladder the, the the birds are able the blue birds are able to put their claws in there so then they can adjust as they need it it, it takes place of the uh, the old peg um, there you have it we're gonna look for a place to hang this and oh we can put the roof on we can screw it in and then we won't have to worry about it flopping off because we'll have access here there you go Hope you like this. Hope you learned something. Um, we've had a lot of fun doing this and I love placing these and we'll see what kind of percentage we get on all these. But hey, thanks for watching. I'm Ken Deiniger, just another backyard project. Let's go hang one, or two, or three, or four. Come on.